all right what's up everybody another day another video tour so today we are here in the southwest las vegas valley taking a look at a product by richmond american homes out here in the enterprise so this is the uh, coronado now the coronado is 2600 square feet on this one it is a two-story three bedroom two and a half bathroom two car garage now you also have a option to do a fourth bedroom now right here's the sales office it's actually a two-car garage so just picture that a garage now if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the seth model go ahead and check out the seth model i do have a video on that one and one thing real quick you can actually get up to five bedrooms on this one all the way up to 2,800 square feet. Depending on the floor plan that you want to choose from, uh, you're gonna get pavers up here in the front. And the landscaping that you see, according to the contract, you don't get this exact same landscaping, but it's something similar, but not as detailed as the model. Also keep in mind when you sign the contract, you're gonna sign a form saying how that model looks, you're not gonna get the exact same model. Now, as I come in here, looking down this wall here, it is a little bit warped, but that's just how stucco is. It's not a big deal. One thing I do like about this build on this elevation, and normally you have about three different elevations to pick from. I love the stack stone. I love the sprayed on stucco and then the trowel on the stucco. So it gives you two different textures here and take a look at the color block on how much this thing actually pops on the exterior here you're going to have wood eaves here and they're about a foot okay with the wood fascia boards so that's not that bad for me i prefer stucco and probably about a uh, one foot pop out so you do have a beautiful door eight foot so as we enter the property let me just pan all the way up take a look at this now, the name of this neighborhood that we are located in is the Hartford community. They're, they have a total of about 67 uh, lots to pick and choose from. However, I believe there's only about 12 that is currently available. HOAs are gonna run you roughly about $56 a month, which is not bad. Now, we are pretty much located in the middle of nowhere, the farthest southwest you can get. But the good news is that there's a lot of development taking place. So if you do move on out here, um, you know what? There's gonna be a lot of homes that are gonna be built out here. Now I'm gonna start back here in the beginning here. So we have that front door here and just take a look at that. Soak all that in real quick, all right? So we have a bedroom down here. Remember you have all up to five bedrooms on in this model and up to 2,800 square feet. So this would be perfect for your guests okay now, if you guys want more information about this property give us a call we'll definitely connect you with the right people orange peel texture you do have a half inch on the bull nose you have six inches on the baseboards here you have the standard carpet here single panel door which is really nice two inches on the casing around the door that's standard on the casing here now this home does have a lot of upgraded options. You do have the wood-like tile too as well. A couple things that you can see here on the wall I wanted to show you, you have your thermostat for your air conditioning unit. As big as this home is, you wanna find out how many air conditioning or condensers you have. And also is it dual zone or three zone or triple zone, okay? You do have your alarm and also your doorbell too as well. Now, off to the right coming underneath the closet okay we do have storage now also I noticed with this tile they didn't lay the tile underneath the baseboards and that's normal with the builders out here in Las Vegas standard tile you need 17 by 17 porcelain tile this is a more upgraded type of quartz countertop here okay one of the most desirable quartz countertops today now, I believe on this spec, you do have the option to do a rainfall um, countertops if you wanted to for the island. You do have the pre-wired J-Box for the three lights. We do have 
nine foot ceilings that are in blue, you would have to upgrade the ceiling height on this one. So we do have uh, the Espresso cabinets and these are actually full overlays. Now, a couple things here. With this type of cabinet, as you can see, you see this, we have that crack right there. Now the good news is that with new home builds, you can have the warranty. Normally they'll probably sand that down and actually restain that. Now I love these pools here. Normally when you do these pools and handles, if you buy them through the builder, make sure that includes the bathrooms too as well. If you do your upgraded cabinets in the kitchen, does all your cabinets get upgraded too as well. 42 upper cabinets, okay, with a three inch crown, okay. You have a 36 inch, um, GE cook countertops, but you can also upgrade this to the cafe package appliance. The hood is a upgrade. Now when they sell their product, you can't buy these individually. You have to buy them in packages. So what I mean by that, it's what you get with your dishwasher, you get your stove cook countertop and also your hood. Okay. You do have this beautiful, nice marble mosaic backsplash which is really nice and typically you're gonna only gonna get your four inch again you do have your quartz here on this side again orange peeled texture coming directly to the back these cabinets right here folks this would be an upgrade during the time of the build you do have that option coming down here we have a full pantry coming into the pantry we have a total of five shelves it gives you a lot of storage space okay now, I definitely would change this light out for a fluorescent light for sure. Okay, or actually an halogen light, right? So that way it's really nice and bright. Right off here to the right, we have more storage. Okay, this would actually be your coat closet. Now on this spec right here, here's the uh, three car garage. I'm sorry, the two car garage alarm system. Now on this one right here, all the windows are equipped pre-wire for security alarm system. Now we have a 12 foot aluminum slide door. This is dual pane with low E gas, okay? Now the standard upgrade here would only be the eight foot slide and it's gonna be the vinyl. So folks, this is definitely a upgrade, okay? Oh, this is a beautiful slide, I love this slide. Now, cover patio, cover patio typically is an upgrade. You can go half or you can do the full backyard decent sized backyard. Backyard is going to be roughly about 7,000 to 8,000 square feet. You do have the flat traditional tiles, which is really nice. Kind of gives that modern look. Now, also when you're doing your walkthroughs, take a look at your, some of these pop-outs here. Okay. First thing I'd flag is you got some paint that needs to be done. And also on the pop-outs on the window trim, you see how it's not as straight. I would have recleaned that, relined that up, and also on this pop out too as well. That would just drive me nuts, especially spending this type of money. Now, that's one thing that I did not mention was the price, but we're gonna get into the price here in just a second. This is additional upgrade. This is something that you guys can do on your own, okay? You have two options. So as you can see, you got the natural gas. You can definitely uh, tap into the natural gas. Now, what you see right here, is pre-plumbed already for your uh, irrigation system okay now we're gonna go back here I'm gonna walk on this side see what's going on here all right retaining walls push it a little bit back that's another thing you want to see where that retaining wall is gonna reside at okay there's a couple upgrades here that they've done. Now imagine this, you got 17 by 17 uh, ceramic tile in only in the wet areas, but all this right here in the living room is going to be carpet, but normally it's gonna be a synthetic type of carpet, more of your low grade carpet with a standard pad. Now on this spec, it looks like they did the 5.0 uh, surround sound, okay? Let's take a look at it from this angle. Beautiful. Now let's go upstairs and let's see what they did upstairs. A couple of things, they did the railing here. Now, this is the half bath 
for the bedroom downstairs. The only thing that I do not like about this is that if you buy a home like this, I would want the bedroom downstairs to have its own suite. So you would have a suite here and also a half bath. That is the best way to spec this thing out. But I mean, you can't get 10 out of 10, you know? All right, let's go upstairs. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, they tore this thing up. That was just probably people coming up and down this thing. Now, one of the questions I get asked, can you buy the model? Some builders will allow you to buy the model and do a lease back. Not all builders will. Majority of the builders will wait. So what did I say? We had bedroom downstairs. One, two, right? Three, because that's an option. Four, five. Okay, so now the question is, this fifth bedroom right here, would you get a fifth bedroom, close this thing up, or leave it the way it is? I think I'd probably leave this the way it is. Let's go this way. Let's save the master for last. Love the fact that how this bedroom is separate from the rest. Ooh, this is a suite too, love it. Love it. Nine foot ceilings on the second floor. Now let's go into the bathroom. And as we come into the bathroom, you have the upgraded tiles, 12 by 12s on the tile, upgraded on the sink here, the 36 inches, and also the shower. Beautiful shower though. Love it. See how thick this glass is. Oh, look at this thing. Skip out on the glass. Now, when you versus to a builder, you do have some options to pick and choose how thick the glass is. Also, this weather stripping, after a while, this starts to wear and tear. And what happens is it starts to build calcium and also starts to dry, uh, dry, walk, <laughs> dry rot. So just keep that in mind. But that can be placed at Lowe's or Home Depot. They do sell that product. All right. Coming down here, we have another bathroom. But look, this bathroom right here actually has two sinks upgraded on the vanity, right? And that's for this bathroom. I mean, this bedroom. But typically, you would only do that if this was a bedroom because these two bedrooms would be for this bathroom and that bathroom would be separate for that bedroom. But let's take a look here. We have 12 by 24 on the tile. Again, 36 inches, quartz countertops, cast iron sink, undermounted Delta, right? Fixtures. Now this is a upgrade, but with Delta products, it is a lifetime warranty, which is great. Now you do have the aqua tub. And as you can see, looks like the cartridge is sealed they need to install all of this so never mind that <laughs> we're just gonna go look past that okay i don't know what's going on with that so this bedroom is the vogue bedroom here now we do have a queen size bed this room appears to me about 12 by 12 i would say you got the four can lighting, pre-wire for the ceiling fan. That would definitely be an upgrade, folks. And you do have your walk-in closet here to the right. Walk-in closet, you're probably looking four by six feet. So it's a pretty deep walk-in closet. You do have the attic access right above here. Now coming into the fourth bedroom or this would be your den or your loft, okay? Technically, this would be more of a, a den, I would say. So now on this one, if you left this structural design, now the question is, how would you like to design this room? Where are you putting your couch, your TV, you know, your furniture, the type of design you have, because now we gotta move electrical based upon the type of furniture and the layout that you're gonna pick and choose from. Now, the reason why we have this right above here, this is actually a header that goes all the way across. That's the reason why you have that. There's no choice. Now, coming across down this hall here, 
coming into the uh, bathroom, I'm sorry, the laundry room, laundry room, you're gonna get the tile, the 17 by 17 tile. They upgraded on the sink and the cabinets above too as well. You do have an option to purchase the uh, package appliances through them. And we have a 36 inch on the smart panel box. Now folks, the smart panel box I already looked into it. Let me see if I can poke my head into this one. Now normally with the smart panel box, you wanna make sure you get your outlet, right? Your outlet here, okay? And as you can see, they have the tube to down to the D mark. These are actually coax cables, right? This should be ran and run to each room, depending on how you spec out your home. So believe it or not, on this one, you have a couple cat six here. You got one, two. Looks like they pretty much have a total of 12 rooms that they did the cat six to. So this one is equipped with a bunch of cat six, which is really nice. Now I do have a meeting with a company that specializes in high-end luxury homes. So I can't wait to uh, show you guys these videos because it's all about content driven, right? Now this is a pretty large master bedroom here. So a couple things that I want you to be aware of. This home is actually facing west. Right here is on the east side of the home. Your headboard is here. Sun is going to be baking on this side and also on this side of the room. So you're going to get a lot of sun exposure. Going into the bathroom. I love this tub. I believe you can do one spa shower if you would like. But I do like this. This is really, really nice. And I love the bench seat in here. Oh my gosh, look how thick this glass is. Three quarters. Or three eighths, I'm sorry. Look at that. Beautiful work. Love it. Now that that is not marble. That is a, a regular uh, gloss, right? 12 by 24 in the tile. Now let's come into the master closet here standard okay not bad but nice and large here's your water closet and let's take a look at the sinks nice now if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also you do have some dry um, wallpaper in here we talked about wallpaper before how to install it problem when you get in wet areas you can run into some challenges now you're gonna get this where it tends to crack like this and split that's common because the home will shift in you know because uh, it gets hot and cold so that just probably needs to be cocked now if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel I would highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel that is right subscribe to the channel help us out we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business, okay? Like I mentioned before, HOAs are gonna be a total of $56 a month, which is not bad at all. Now, if you guys are interested in this model, right? The base price, the starting price is $471,950. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crucible with Simply Vegas and have a blessed day.